As the Great Lakes Water Authority prepares to increase water and sewer rates in Metro Detroit, it's placing part of the blame on Highland Park. The city is accused of failing to pay its bills, passing the debt onto residential customers in other communities. But Highland Park says it doesn't owe a dime. 7 Action News reporter Darren Cunningham spoke to leaders on both sides of this issue. There are at least two sides to every story. This one, a complicated issue involving the city of Highland Park and the Great Lakes Water Authority, stretching back years. These lawsuits have provided us an opportunity to really understand what's going on. Despite numerous legal filings and settlements, a dispute between the city of Highland Park and the Great Lakes Water Authority still lingers. The Water Authority, also known as GLIWA, claims the city owes $52 million for unpaid water and sewer service, racked up since 2012. Interim CEO Suzanne Coffey says the city's paid less than 1% of water charges since 2012. Since April of last year, we haven't received anything from Highland Park. City of Highland Park Administrator Kathy Square disagrees. Highland Park has overpaid. Highland Park is overpaid. Square says a settlement in February of last year, which ordered the city of Detroit to pay Highland Park $1 million, resolved the problem. She says Highland Park is supposed to pay the same fixed water and sewer rates that it's been paying since 1996. To go back to the 1983 contract, the 1996 contract, and follow it. They just stopped following it downtown. And what they're saying is, any bill that we create, we can just send to you ad hoc, and you're obligated to pay it. Brian Baker is a GLIWA board member and the GLIWA representative for Macomb County. He says the water and sewer rates are not fixed for any community, nor are they changed at random. I think all of us would love to pay a gas rate from 25 years ago, right? There's inflation, there's increased investments in the water and sewer system that are needed, of which Highland Park has benefited. So for anyone to claim that there's a there's a prior agreement that their rate is fixed in perpetuity is just a mistake. Baker says Highland Park's unpaid charges are being recovered by passing the bad debt onto other communities to pay and that it's unfair. Macomb residents alone, $14.5 million that we've paid because Highland Park has not paid. Oakland County, it's $23 million. Wayne County, $21 million. Gliwa says it, quote unquote, sued the state of Michigan and the city of Highland Park to reimburse these communities. These lawsuits are pending, end quote. Baker is calling on the state of Michigan to step in. In Highland Park, Darren Cunningham, 7 Action News.